The U.S. Air Force has reached a pivotal milestone in the development of its next-generation stealth bomber with the first flight of a second B-21 Raider test aircraft. Departing from Northrop Grumman's production facility in Palmdale, California, the bomber flew to Edwards Air Force Base, where it officially joined the Air Force's structured flight test program. This event represents more than just the addition of a second airframe, it signifies the acceleration of the program's operational testing, expanding beyond basic flight validation into rigorous evaluation of mission systems, stealth capabilities, and advanced weapons integration. The deployment of two B-21s in parallel enables the Air Force to collect a broader range of data and conduct simultaneous tests across multiple operational domains, a critical factor in validating the aircraft's readiness for future combat scenarios. The B-21 Raider is the first sixth-generation bomber to enter active flight testing and is being developed under the Long Range Strike Bomber LRSB, program. It is designed to penetrate the most heavily defended airspace globally, capable of conducting both strategic nuclear deterrence and precision conventional strikes. Unlike its predecessors, the B-21 leverages revolutionary low observable technologies that surpass those of the B-2 Spirit and B-1B Lancer. Its airframe incorporates advanced composites, radar transparent materials, and edge aligned geometry to minimize radar signatures across multiple frequency bands. In addition, the aircraft's skin coatings are engineered for durability and rapid maintenance in austere environments, reducing downtime and increasing mission availability compared with older stealth platforms. These technological innovations aim to solve some of the maintenance and operational challenges that historically limited the B-2's deployment. The operational capabilities of the B-21 extend far beyond airframe design. Its internal systems integrate advanced sensors, antennas, and a fully embedded defensive avionic suite capable of autonomously detecting, geolocating, and responding to threats without requiring escort aircraft. These systems include next-generation electronic warfare capabilities capable of dynamic threat prioritization, autonomous jamming, and real-time countermeasures against kinetic and non-kinetic threats. The aircraft's open-system architecture allows for rapid integration of emerging mission systems, software upgrades, and new weapons, ensuring that the platform remains adaptable against evolving threats such as advanced surface-to-air missile systems, electronic warfare networks, and future hypersonic weapons. AI-enabled decision aids are also expected to reduce crew workload while enhancing situational awareness, allowing the B-21 to operate efficiently in complex, contested environments. With two aircraft now flying, the U.S. Air Force can conduct more comprehensive testing across sensor fusion, radar signature management, data link resilience, and weapons employment scenarios. The program has moved from proving basic airworthiness to validating combat systems under conditions designed to replicate adversary threat environments. This phase of testing is crucial to ensuring that the B-21 can perform reliably against highly capable integrated air defense systems, electronic warfare operations, and other advanced challenges it may face in contested theaters such as the Indo-Pacific and Europe. By stress-testing the aircraft in simulated combat conditions, the Air Force aims to ensure that the B-21 can maintain both survivability and lethality in real-world operations. The Raider's long-range and deep penetration capabilities allow it to strike strategic targets without relying on forward-deployed bases, providing a significant operational advantage. Its payload versatility includes nuclear and conventional munitions, such as B-61-12 gravity bombs, the AGM-181 long-range standoff, LRSO, cruise missile, and a variety of precision-guided weapons. Future upgrades may expand its arsenal to include hypersonic weapons and advanced electronic warfare payloads. In addition, the aircraft's full-spectrum connectivity enables it to function as a node in a broader networked kill web, integrating securely with space, air, sea, land, and cyber forces for real-time targeting and coordinated operations. This networked approach enhances the Air Force's joint all-domain operations capabilities, 
allowing the B-21 to operate in conjunction with manned and unmanned assets to deliver precise, coordinated effects across multiple operational theaters. The B-21 is designed to eventually replace both the B-1B Lancer and B-2 Spirit, consolidating the Air Force's penetrating bomber force into a more survivable, flexible, and sustainable fleet. Compared to legacy bombers, the Raider offers enhanced stealth across radar and infrared spectrums, superior sensor integration, and a digital architecture that allows for faster testing and the integration of new technologies. Unlike the B-1B, which lacks survivability in heavily contested environments, the B-21 reintroduces a dual-role capability for strategic nuclear deterrence and global precision strike. Its all-digital design supports long-term lifecycle cost reductions, faster capability upgrades, and greater operational resilience, ensuring that the aircraft can evolve alongside emerging threats without extensive structural modifications. The Air Force's acquisition plans currently call for at least 100 B-21s, with the potential for additional aircraft based on strategic assessments and future requirements. The first operational units are expected to be based at Ellsworth Air Force Base in South Dakota, with subsequent units assigned to Whiteman and Dias Air Force Bases as the program matures. At present, six aircraft are in various stages of production at Northrop Grumman Secure Palmdale Facility. The Combined Test Force at Edwards AFB, operating under the Air Force Test Center and the Rapid Capabilities Office, is expected to accelerate flight testing over the next 12 to 18 months, validating the aircraft across operationally realistic mission profiles in both Indo-Pacific and European theaters. As adversaries develop increasingly sophisticated anti-access-slash-area denial systems, long-range sensors, and integrated electronic warfare capabilities, the B-21 Raider provides the United States with a decisive tool to maintain credible deterrence and global strike capability. Its combination of next-generation stealth, adaptable systems architecture, AI-enhanced mission planning, and long-range precision lethality positions it as a cornerstone of American air power well into the 2050s. The Raider's survivability, flexibility, and networked operational capabilities ensure that the U.S. Air Force can project power in contested environments with a level of precision and resilience unmatched by previous bomber generations. In conclusion, the flight of the second B-21 Raider represents a significant leap forward in the United States' long-range strike capability. By expanding testing to include combat system validation, sensor fusion, weapons integration, and operational connectivity, the Air Force is ensuring that the Raider will meet the demands of future high-end conflict. Its advanced stealth features, integrated mission systems, and networked connectivity allow it to operate effectively in heavily defended environments, providing both nuclear deterrence and precision strike capabilities. As production continues and testing intensifies, the B-21 is set to become the backbone of the Air Force's penetrating bomber fleet, delivering unmatched operational flexibility and strategic reach for decades to come. The combination of cutting-edge stealth, advanced sensors, long-range strike ability, and digital adaptability makes the B-21 Raider a transformative platform, redefining what a modern strategic bomber can achieve in the rapidly evolving landscape of 21st century warfare.